um, Tuesday morning, Fern Creek, Kentucky, and uh, I guess me and Sarge are off to go take care of some business here. He's going to be my right-hand man today. So, uh, I reckon let's get after it, guys. Okay, boy. Get in the truck. Get in your seat. Get in your seat. <laughs> he spotted the dog treat. All right, guys. Are you ready to go, boy? You ready to go? You want to go to UPS with Daddy? You do? Okay. All right, guys. We're uh, we're loaded up here. I've got a I've got some stuff I have to take back from my mom up to UPS. But uh, one of the main reasons I'm going up there is uh, my good friend uh, Andrea over there at Testo. What a wonderful lady. Uh, got hold of me yesterday and uh, told me that uh, they finally got the parts in from Germany for my Testo 320 right here. And what it is, is this particular model that I have here didn't come with the, the two differential ports. What you're actually seeing right here is a vent. So I need another port in here and uh, that way I can do differential pressures and whatnot. So if any of y'all uh, have the same model as me, um, you can actually, uh, I guess, send it back to them now and they'll, they'll update it for you. Um, they're actually going to put me some new firmware in here too, uh, updated firmware. Um, uh, heck, we got to searching on here the other day, me and Daniel, and we found an icon for uh, clocking gas valve, or gas meters. And I thought that was neat, so we might give that a shot too. Um, there's also another function on here we found, it was called uh, Fine Pressure Measurement. And I've got Jim over there, at, uh, Jim Bergman over at True Tech Tools. He's actually found the, uh, the probe that goes with this and he's actually going to test it first to make sure it, it'll do what I want it to do. And uh, I've actually got some bonus footage for you too. Uh, I just wanted to show you what Jim sent me and I wanted to thank Jim so much. So I'll uh, demonstrate that when we get back. All right, y'all. Bye. Hey okay, guys, we made it over here to the UPS store. Um, I reckon Sarge is going to hold the ship down here. Um, it's not hot outside. It's actually cold. So y'all don't worry about him being in the truck here. So, uh, all right, guys, let me get after it. You ready to go home, boy? Huh? Hey okay, guys, me and uh, Sarge just make, made it back from our local UPS store here and uh, what I did was I got uh, the Testo uh, 320 shipped off to, uh, to uh, Testo themselves. Uh, they just got the updated uh, parts for, uh, for my Testo 320 from Germany and it wound up costing me, it, it wasn't too bad, it was $52.58 but the reason behind that was is uh, they, uh, I ha actually had them pack it for me. And what I did was I put $1,100 of insurance on it. So when they packed it, they actually took my Testo, uh, wrapped it in bubble wrap, then they put it in a small box, then they took that box, put it in a bigger box, and then put uh, peanuts all through it. So, you know, they don't want to get damaged, and neither do I. So um, I, uh, I have a tension Andrea on it, so she should be getting it. It says the arrival date should be around Friday. So I hope to get it back pretty quick because I can't wait to rock with it. But uh, while I still got you guys here, um, I wanted to thank my good buddy Jim. There he is right there, Mr. Bergman. One hell of a fella, uh, really smart fella. I, I, love, I appreciate being able to call on you, Jim. Um, he owns True Tech Tools here, and he has a wonderful bunch of guys that work with him. And uh, every one of them are knowledgeable, and every one of them are kind and considerate. And I, I appreciate doing business with y'all. But uh, I don't know if you uh, remember when uh, me and Daniel were doing that uh, worst case scenario here on my water heater, the CAS testing, where we had the, the bath fans fired up, we had the furnace fan fired up, uh, the furnace actually fired up, and uh, the dryer on the fluff cycle. Had everything in the house that could possibly be on at one time and, and we conducted that test, but we used a cigarette. And, uh, you know, I was saying, you know, this is my personal home, you know, yada, 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 but to do it, do it professionally, you know, I was saying that you needed that dragon uh, puffer. And uh, guess what, guys? Look at this. Out of Jim's generosity. What? Pow! What is that, guys? What is that? That is the Dragon Puffer Airflow Indicator. And this is the, the deluxe kit that I actually have on that video I was telling everybody to get. Um, and Jim actually sent it to me. So uh, let's pop in here real quick and see what we got. Uh, Jim's actually got a great video uh, demonstrating this thing. Uh, mine's probably not going to be as good as his, but I, I might just shoot just a little bit. I can't really go into the CAS right now, but uh, we'll, we'll show it going up the going up the flue. But basically, you have your dragon puffer here, and you fill it up right here with uh, this uh, super fluid solution and your and your spout. And what you do is you pop 
you pop this little rubber piece off and you insert it all the way into the back and then you squeeze it let some air in squeeze it you know until you fill it up and there's your fill tube i've already got it filled up um it also came with these uh cones okay this these pretty nice and this is like a fine cone here and it came with this uh, another cone and a pencil and it was basically like a fine cone too but i took my side cutters right there i cut it off and then i took my uh my needle nose right there and I rounded it out real good so we got just a little bit more you know with this cone as opposed to this one so but anyway and this is battery operated it's uh, like a tiny fan assisted I don't know I'll turn it on for you see if y'all can hear it can you hear it it's real light one battery but uh, anyway um, Heck, while I got y'all, um, I might go ahead and, and this thing is just so easy to attach. All it is is just pushing it right down on here, just like so. And we've got the battery on. No, I turned it back off. Okay, we've got the battery on. And like I said, this cone here will pop off and you can just put the other cone on it. But uh, I believe all okay, there is to it, our, man, uh, is a pencil uh, adapter on here on our uh, Dragon Puffer. And let's go ahead and hit that light just for a second. Hold it down for about eight, ten seconds or so. Let her start generating. You can hear her start working. Okay, let's see what we got here, guys. Look at that. Love it. Just pop that turkey off like so. Turn the fan, make sure you turn that fan off. Put it back in our kit. And what we'll do is we'll uh, fire it up and let that little blue light kick on there, or LED or whatever it is, for about eight seconds, let it start puffing. And now we can actually start our test. I love it guys man thank you so much Jim I appreciate it so much all right y'all take care you want to drive <laughs>
uh, put a cow rod in that old one and uh, we decided we was going to go ahead and update. Um, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles on it like a lot of them do, but it does have one particular thing on it that uh, we wanted, and it's that uh, self-clean. So uh, she's good to go. She loves her new stove. But what I love is, uh, check this out, man. Mom done made some of her famous chili, and it's been simmering all day long. So uh, I'm going to have to let y'all go now. I'm getting ready to get the feedback on. So I uh, appreciate you watching our videos, and... Uh, I reckon we'll holler at y'all soon. Take care now.